So I came across this story today at work, in case you missed it. So you know there's three sides to every story, right? Yours, mine, and the truth. Well, I would definitely like to know really what the hell is going on in this story, like for real. He's a rapper, a record producer, a real estate broker, and he owns a moving company that just so happens to be the address of the home on Perry Street. It seems like he's the jack of all trades. He calls himself Viper. He is one of the originators of Cloud Rap, which I never heard. And I am a big fan of rap and hip hop, so I wanted to kind of know what Cloud Rap was. So I Googled it. Cloud Rap is a sub-genre of rap and it has several sonic characteristics of rap known for its hazy, dreamlike, and relaxed production style. So I was interested to go and learn more about cloud rap. And side note, I am from the place where rap was born, okay? People can say New York, but it's from the BX. You have to be specific. It's from the BX. So... Little B and Clams Casino are the early pioneers of this Clouds rap. So I went right here on YouTube to look up one of his rap videos and I ran into one. It got over 4 million views and I can see why. Because the freaking comments on those videos are hilarious. Definitely. It's called Y'all Cowards Don't Even Smoke Crack. Very interesting title for a very interesting story. It goes a little something like this. Hater, you don't even smell crack. You a snitch fool. Miss me with that mark game. Pass a G, then stem. I'm about to blaze up, even when it's after them. Huh. That's what it says. Mm-hmm. That is what it says. And it's also very repetitive on that y'all <laughs> cowards don't even smoke crack. And that is the song. And And he is something serious. Something serious. Now, according to Wikipedia, Viper has dropped 1,500, 1,500 albums as of 2020. So this is a very working hard guy, definitely. So he's doing his cloud rapping out there in Houston. And um, I guess 1,500 um, albums or songs that he dropped, that's a lot. That's a lot. So back to this very strange case. So Vipers, whose government name is Lee Arthur Carter, 52 years old. So a pregnant woman was panhandling five years ago. When Viper approached her, he gave her $1 and told her that he would further help her. So she got inside his car and they pulled up to his home, that home right there on Perry. She was threatened by Viper. And she ultimately ended up becoming his sex slave. He would sexually assault her every chance he got. He kept her on drugs. And he would sporadically feed her anything from potato chips to Twinkies, snacks. That's what he fed her. He locked her up in his garage with the padlock from the outside. She said she was only allowed to shower maybe once every two months. And this woman was with him. Five years, she's saying. Five years. Occasionally, he would let her use his laptop, where she tried to reach out for help. Now, April 2023, officers responded to the address on Perry. The woman used a TextNow app. When police arrived, they seen her. She was 70 pounds. She looked extremely malnourished. She was emaciated, filthy, pungent odor coming from her. She'd been in that garage for quite some time. There was a mattress on the floor with fresh vomit on it. There was a makeshift toilet that was not working. They saw the box of chips, a few Twinkies, and diapers, and a dog. The unnamed woman said Mr. Carter had her in that garage locked up 
for four to five years. He promised to help her out, but instead locked her in the garage. She was forced to do drugs, have sex, and rarely got a proper meal. After the April incident reports, police confirmed eight calls to that same house within the past year. After leaving the hospital, Mr. Carter actually picked the unnamed woman up and brought her back to, that's right, the home. And I'm guessing back to that filthy garage with the fresh vomit on it. So, however, nine months later, the police have a warrant now and they go to that home on Perry. The woman is not there. He's not there. There's nobody there. They say that they are able to uh, mess with that lock that is now able to have them go inside the home. And they saw the dog there. They said the dog looked like he used the bathroom, you know, a few times in this little area. But the dog was healthy. The dog was in very good condition. Not like that woman was, but the dog was in very good condition. So Viper was anyway arrested at a local motel on January 4th, 2024. He bonded out. $100,000 $100,000 bail later on, and he was placed on house arrest, and he has to wear a monitor. My question is, where's the woman? Where's this baby? Where are they? Inside the house was some diapers. Was it diapers for an infant, a toddler, or for an adult? Where is this baby? The baby actually wasn't even mentioned in one of the reports. Did she have the baby? That is very bizarre. I'm worried about this baby and the missing woman because the woman is gone. The woman is gone. Now, Viper actually said, quote, this is my son's mother. This is not a stranger, end quote. So if this is his son's mother, where is she? Someone needs to step forward and tell the police What's going on? So Viper, he posts on his social media right after he got out of jail. He says, I am innocent. I am out of jail. I do not do any, I did not do any of these allegations and I will be fully exonerated and my evidence will prove my innocence. This was fraud news. Won't keep a black man down. All news channels will apologize to me publicly after my exoneration or be sued. And he said some more shit, but he's standing in the fact that he did not do anything to this woman and that this woman is his baby mama. That's what he's standing by. Now, I love Nancy Grace, been loving her for quite some time, and she said something kind of funny. But, okay, the neighbors of Carter's said that, a neighbor said that he had spoke with Carter that said he had three women in there and he had other women in certain residents that he owns and rents or whatever, and all they want is drugs and food. So he was kind of saying that he has just women everywhere and he keeps them on standby, I guess. And Nancy actually called, called Viper, the poor man R. Kelly. Wow. That was very interesting to me. The poor man R. Kelly. So again, this story is very crazy. The woman is allegedly missing. And where's the baby? She was a pregnant panhandler and been there for five years. So this baby should be five years old now. So most definitely, this is a little creepy, a little strange, a little odd. And I would like to really know what is going on in this case. And I have to say again, everything in this video is alleged because we really don't know what the hell is going on and i know viper aka lee mr carter i know you said that you want to sue people yada 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 look i have no money i have absolutely no money so i wouldn't even be worth suing however when i do come across these reports and if this is all a made-up story by homegirl and this is your baby mama i will most definitely do a video and give you an apology. You got my word. I'm really, 
really big when it comes to apologizing. If it is my fault, I will always be the bigger person.